So, of course, every night here on Fox 9, we like to have kids ask questions, not of us, because we can't answer them, no. but of Scott. And Scott's got <laughs> the answers. What are they asking tonight? Well, it's interesting because, you know, Max right there, by the way, temperature's gone up to 34. It's going to bob up and down. The precipitation's letting up. When the precipitation comes in, the temperature will drop back down there. But the kids tonight are talking more about summertime weather, even though we talk about ice. Here's the explanation right here. Hi, my name is Abby Cast. I go to Kelsch Elementary. And my question is, um, I've always wondered how thunderstorms are made and why they happen. I don't know much about them, but I do know they produce strong winds, heavy rain, lightning, and thunder. But I've always wanted to know more, more about them. Well, I would say, Abby, that you know a lot about thunderstorms right there in that statement. You sure do. Strong winds, uh, lightning, gust, the gusty winds. We've got hail as well. So I've got some graphics here. We'll kind of go over some things about thunderstorms that we get. And here's the nature of a severe thunderstorm. What happens with thunderstorms is kind of different than in the wintertime. Wintertime precipitation is a lot lower to the ground. In the summertime, all this wind rushes up and it cools and condenses, makes clouds, and hail is forming even in the summertime now. When it's 80 degrees at the surface, we're still talking way below zero. And so ice starts to form and wind takes the raindrops and pushes it up and it refreezes and that's how you get the hail forming and then these damaging downdrafts can come in as these this uh, rain cooled air and hail cooled air will come rushing on down and shoot winds on out so you can get that with thunderstorms and this is the difference I was just talking about but summer storms between summer storms and winter storms during the cold season the clouds are generally lower and you can get one to two inches of precipitation in 12 hours but in the summertime a little different with thunderstorms you get so much moisture because the warmer air can can basically handle more moisture and so you get a lot more heavy rain coming down so you can get one to two inches in 30 minutes it's tough to do that in the Treasure Valley but it certainly happens and as we move through on January now as we get towards February March and April of course the frequency of thunderstorms and severe thunderstorms will go up as we get closer to the spring here's something else about thunderstorms typically you can have thunderstorms pop up like popcorn where there's no rainfall and there's rainfall here and rainfall here so you get passive areas of dry weather and then you can also get storms training where they all run over the same place and you can get flash flooding so all kinds of things going on with thunderstorms. So great question from Abby. Kelsch Elementary is a school that I visited this week. Next week, going to another school, we'll have more questions coming up. Great Love questions. It. Yes. Coming up next.